Begin your stretch by sitting down on a mat. Stretch, tilt your head to the left. Make sure your right shoulder is pulling down at the same time. Steady breathe in. Breathe out. Constant breathe in, breathe out, switch side, make sure you're pulling your shoulder all the way down so you can feel a full stretch on your left neck. Come back to center, tilt your head to the front. You may feel a little uncomfortable on your throat. It's okay, let it be uncomfortable. At the same time, still keep your breath in and out steadily. Come back and tilt your head to the back. You'll feel a full stretch on your throat, on your neck. It's okay to let it go. Try to close your mouth as much as you can where you feel a maximum stretch on your neck. Come back to center. Now you turn, roll your head around three times on each side. Switch side. Arms up, turn out, keep your shoulder down as much as you can, and pull your right arm down with your left arm pulling down towards your chest. Keep your breathing constant in and out. We're not holding this pose. We're pulling down with the left hand as much as you can. When you breathe in, you're pulling even more down. Center, switch side. You should feel a stretch on your left armpit and maximum compression and stretch on your left shoulder. Come back to center, shoulders down, arms open, hold both hands to your back, let's do a little stretch first, adjust yourself, now stomach down first, 
head down with while keeping your butt to the floor. Try to pull your arm up as much as you can. Remember to breathe. Coming back up slowly, relax your shoulder, switch. You should hear a cracking sound on your shoulder when you turn your arms. Okay. Switch leg. Shake it out a little bit. I'm gonna turn around so you can see the back of my hand, how it's holding in the back. This is also for stretching for your shoulder. When you grab your hands in the back, make sure it's the lower hand that's reaching up. You're pushing your lower elbow back to reach the top hand. Going down, you're going towards the direction of your upper arm, upper elbow. Keeping your buttocks glued to the mat. You should feel a maximum stretch on your right shoulder. Breathe. Coming back up, untangle your arm, oh, very painful, switch side, also now pushing your left lower elbow to reach up to your right hand, when you feel the grip is secure, go ahead and go down. Make sure you're going the direction of your upper arm. So in this case, I'm leaning towards my right. Keep breathing. Coming back up. Slowly, untangle your arm, okay, I'm going to do the same pose again, two hands tied up in the back, arms straight and stomach down first, then forehead down, try to push your arm as high as you possibly can. And again, we're not holding the pose here. We're pushing your arm as high as you possibly can. Holding here for 30 seconds. Each of the poses are actually 30 seconds. It's really, really painful, I know. Coming back up. After that stretch, you do need to roll your shoulder 
You should feel crack, 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 cracking sound. Ten times on each direction. Switch direction. Okay. No. The second part of the stretching, lower body stretch. Kneel on both knees. Right foot out. Or, I mean, sorry, left foot out. You're sitting on your right foot. Make sure it's completely stretched, that your foot is not tilting to the right nor the left. Arms up, stomach down first. Adjust yourself. Make sure you're straight. You're going straight down, not tilted to the right nor the left. And again, 30 second hold here. Pressing the back of your knee towards the mat as much as you can now. Coming back up, shifting your weight to your front leg, knee, the back leg, knee on the floor. Try to push down as much as you can. Find your balance first. Arms up. Stretch the back. It's very easy that you will lose your balance in this pose if you lose your concentration. So it's okay. If you lose your concentration, just come right back. We're not holding the pose here. We're trying to push down even more with the next breath that we take in. Keeping your balance. Coming back down. Back to the first house. Adjust yourself first, arms up, coming down, stomach down first. So in details, your forehead is actually not in the middle of your left knee. So your left knee is actually on top of your left eye. That way you're aligned. Okay, coming back up, similar pose of what we just did, except this time, we're going to pick up your right leg, right foot with your right hand, find your balance first, left arm up, push it down first before you stretch your back, find balance first before you stretch even more. Furthermore, it's okay to fall out of your pose, just come right back, uh, right back up, use your core.
tilt the left knee out, turn it out so you can get a maximum hip stretch. Your right knee should be off of the floor. Try to push your pelvic down so you can get a maximum stretch on your left hip. Now, come back to center. Now, we've been doing everything for this final split. You don't have to go all the way down, just try your best. The most important thing is actually not going all the way down, it's keeping your foot, your alignment straight. Now, we're stretching to the back for 30 seconds. It's really, really difficult to hold and keep this balance. Lean. Lean forward for another 30 seconds. Make sure your body is straight, not tilted. It's not about how much you can stretch, it's about your alignment. This is probably the longest 30 seconds. <laughs> okay, now we're switching sides. Same thing. I'm gonna turn around so you can see it from the back. So you see when you put your knee down, you're going to keep your balance first before you stretch back. And pay attention to your foot. You shouldn't be tilted to the right nor the left. That's why you do need a good yoga mat that has lines on it so you can align yourself, making sure you're not tilted. So you're stretching the correct muscle. Coming back up. Back to the first pose. Sitting on the left foot. Okay. 
Open your right knee down, finding your balance and down. We're never really holding our pose. We're constantly finding ourselves stretching even more by breathing in and out. up. Same thing that we did from the other side. I'm gonna pick up your left foot with your left hand. Find your balance first. Find your alignment. When you're ready, pick up your right arm. If you feel like you're losing your balance, look straight. If you can, look up to the ceiling. If you can't, it's okay. Just look forward. Breathe. Coming back up. Now move your right foot outside of your right arm. Tilt it to the right and make sure your left knee is off of the mat. You're pushing down your pelvic or your stomach down as much as you can to get a maximum stretch on your right hip. Remember to breathe in and out. Coming back up. Now, we're ready for our splits. Make sure you're aligned first before It's okay to come back up again when you feel like you're not aligned. I'm having a hard time balancing so I can't stretch back as I as I use as I can on the other side, but I'm just gonna hold it here while I'm finding my balance. Okay, going down. I'm adjusting myself again because I feel like I'm not completely straight, but just try your best. Another 30 seconds. Find your stability. Okay, that was very painful. Okay. Next is side split. I can do a perfect side split, but I do want a nice inner thigh stretch. We're gonna stretch on each side first before we go down. When you stretch on one side, make sure, if you can, move your left shoulder. Move it on the, to the inner part of your left knee. While you turn your right arm out. So you can see the ceiling. And you feel a maximum stretch on your right waist. You 
You can keep your eyes open, eyes closed, whatever you want. Coming back up. The other side. And again, pushing your right shoulder to the inner part of your right knee. Now you turn yourself out, your left arm should be turned out, and you feel maximum stretch on your left waist. If you can, lift your right uh, heel. In order to lift your right heel, you need to press your right knee down. Okay, now we can pull forward and really stretch the inner thigh. Always, always stomach down first. I always do stomach down first and then chin down, then forehead down. And then when I feel really good, I try to press my chest down to the mat. stretch of the day. Keeping your heel as close as to your body as possible. Holding here for 30 seconds. Coming back up, that's it, the complete routine. After your stretch, I like to do Savasana for about 5 to 10 minutes with that corpse pose, so it's the best part. <laughs>